In this quick lesson, we will look at how to insert a picture placeholder. And we will do that by editing a custom slide layout, actually creating a custom slide layout using our master slide view. So to do that, all we need to do is go over to the view tab of the ribbon and we can just insert a new slide. So we'll do that by again, starting here, going to slide master. This presents us our list of existing slide masters. Don't need to worry about editing any existing ones, just leave them there. What we'll do here is we will insert a slide master or we can even insert a layout. So if you insert a layout, it'll look like this. And then you simply click to edit the master slide title as you can see. So what I will do here in this example is let's say that I want to create something where I have some text on the left hand side of my slide and I have a picture on the right hand side of the slide. So I may have a caption here and then on the right hand side I want a picture. Well all I need to do in the master layout section is go ahead and click on that drop down. Now make sure you have slide master selected. You should still be here. But give that a click and then click on picture. Now you can click on content and that gives you uh, the ability to draw a box like this and then it looks like many of the other placeholder that you are used to working with when you're working with the themes and templates but here we want to make the directions fairly straightforward for the people who might be getting this slide deck and adding elements to the deck so imagine here that you are creating this and you know that it's going to be shared with other people so I'm going to click on the drop down choose picture draw my text box it doesn't really matter where you draw it because you can always edit it later on. So I will extend that there and there and just, you know, I can move it side to side if I want to up and down. I can reposition this object like I can anything else. So once I'm happy with the positioning of my picture, then that placeholder has been set. Now notice I've got the text here as well, but it's really not something I'm going to use as the end user. Now, just like any other object, you can apply a shape style if you want to. So we'll do a quick little uh, outline around the shape style. And then once I'm done, another thing you might want to do so it's easily identifiable is you can rename it. So if you click on rename, you should also be able to get there by right clicking on the master and renaming the layout. So you'll just do something like this. So let's call this a right pick and we'll click on rename and now it's been renamed. Now once I am done, I can close the master view. And now that the master view has been closed, I'll collapse my section and insert a new slide. So now when I go to insert a new slide, you see because of where I put it in that outline form, because it was the one that was right underneath the title slide, you see that there's the right pick. So I choose that and I've inserted a new slide and now I can click on that. And now of course it's just a matter of finding whatever picture I want. I'll choose that one, insert it into the slide. And now, as you can see, I have just used the placeholder. Now before we leave, I'll show you a quick variation on that, how to create a custom shape placeholder. Just another little trick you can use. Go to the view tab, open up that slide master again. And here I will replicate what I did earlier. I'll insert a layout. And this time I'm just going to start with a blank layout. So I'll get rid of that placeholder and I will add my picture placeholder. Now that I've got my picture placeholder on the slide about where I want it to, I'm going to now insert another shape. So I'll just choose an oval. Of course, I could do lots of different shapes, but I'll just draw it oh, about here and position it somewhere like that. I could use the align to get it right to the middle if that's what I cared about, but that's good enough for now. So now that I've got two shapes on my canvas here, I'm going to select the picture first. And the order in which you make the selections is very important when you do this next little trick here. So I'm going to select the picture, then the shape, so that they are both selected. And then I'll go up here to Insert Shapes section and Merge Shapes. So I'll make a union of the two shapes. And now I've got a placeholder. It doesn't look like it at first glance but I've got a placeholder that is a combination of the two shapes. If I click out of the picture placeholder, now you can see what that might look like. So now to use this, I will close the master view. I will go ahead and insert another slide, a new slide with this custom layout that I've just created. And now I'm gonna browse for a picture, drag and drop it onto the slide, and there you've got the 
custom cropped picture in your slide and this can be a great way to add your own personal stamp to your slide deck.